Have you ever delved into the magic of a timeless adventure? Imagine a world where romance, danger, and enchantment collide, captivating audiences for generations. The allure of a classic tale often lies in its ability to transport us to distant lands, stirring emotions and igniting imaginations. What draws us to a story like this? Is it the thrill of the unknown, the allure of ancient mystique, or the promise of a hero's journey? Whatever the case, there's something irresistible about a narrative that stands the test of time, weaving its spell across ages and cultures. Think back to the first time you encountered this legendary tale. Perhaps it was during a cozy family movie night, or maybe a lazy afternoon spent lost in cinematic wonder. The memories we create around these timeless classics are as cherished as the stories themselves. So, let's embark on a journey together where the wonders of the thief of Baghdad await. Let its enduring charm and captivating narrative sweep you off your feet once more. A classic movie from 1940 continues to leave a lasting mark on our culture. When it first hit the screens, audiences were drawn in by its captivating story and revolutionary special effects. Many praised the adventurous tale and stunning visuals. It didn't stop there, though. The movie's influence spread far beyond theaters, inspiring various forms of entertainment. After its success, it sparked numerous spin-off films and television shows. People clamored for merchandise like toys and posters related to the movie. Its adventurous and magical themes kept inspiring storytellers for years afterward. This movie set a high standard for fantasy films and literature that followed. Its imaginative world-building and engaging storytelling left a mark that can still be felt today. Fans worldwide hold it dear as a classic. In the late 1940s and 1950s, Sabu enjoyed significant wealth as one of Hollywood's richest stars. Despite the prevalent practice of white actors portraying Asian characters during that time, he gained respect for both his physique and natural acting talent. Sabu's friendships extended to renowned Hollywood actors like James Stewart and Ronald Reagan. Conrad Veidt, known for his role in the film, willingly accepted roles as Nazi characters, believing it was a crucial means to highlight their malevolent nature to the world. He adamantly refused to portray any Nazi roles with sympathetic undertones. During filming in the US, stricter censorship codes enforced by the Hayes office led to noticeable differences between scenes shot in the UK and those filmed in the US. Actresses' costumes were buttoned up to the collar in scenes shot in the US, conforming to the Hayes office regulations. These distinctions make it easier to discern between the two sets of scenes. During production, the movie had plans for musical elements. While only three songs made it into the final cut, there were lyrics for several others. Rex Ingram recorded one verse for a song intended for the genie character. Pliny's John's stepdaughter of actress Diana Churchill, also featured in the film. Conrad Veidt's appearance in a previous movie caused controversy due to negative voices in Germany criticizing him for betraying his native country. He faced accusations of being swayed by Jewish praise. Veidt's role in Jew Seuss stirred up socialistic Germany's negative sentiments. During the making of The Thief of Baghdad, the replacement director Michael Powell and several key members of the film's crew were reassigned due to Great Britain declaring war on Germany. Producer Alexander Korda, aiming to boost British morale, promised resources for wartime propaganda. Powell and others were then assigned to direct The Lion Has Wings, a documentary about the RAF. Production shifted to the US, acquiring a new director and key crew members. Conrad Veidt, a key actor in the film, met actress Lucy Mannheim in 1914. He joined the theater in Libau to entertain troops during his recovery from jaundice and pneumonia contracted during the Battle of Warsaw. Veidt, who was an indifferent student, pursued acting upon a teacher's recommendation. In The Thief of Baghdad Sabu, known as the father of Jasmine Sabu, and Paul Sabu delivers a memorable performance. Leslie Phillips was initially contracted for another project, but MGM's interest in him led to a change, resulting in Jack Waddling being cast instead. Mary Morris, a diminutive and deep-voiced British stage actress, made her stage debut in Lysistrata at the Gate Theatre, London, in 1935. Morris often portrayed dominant or villainous characters and was well-educated in England. Her presence added depth to the film's character dynamics. In the movie, Blinies Johns appears on the cover of the album Led Zeppelin II by Led Zeppelin. Leslie Phillips, known for his role in The Thief of Baghdad, also worked on the BBC radio comedy The Navy Lark with other famous British comic actors John Pertwee and Ronnie Barker. June Dupris' character in The Thief of Baghdad is not given a name. She is only ever referred to as Princess My Love, You Her, etc. These actors each brought their own unique talents to the film, 
contributing to its enduring popularity and influence in cinema. In his final role, Rex Ingram starred in a Christmas episode of A Christmas Ballad at the age of 73. He passed away shortly after filming, fulfilling a personal request from Cosby. The episode, aired in December, garnered high ratings. The film is part of the Criterion Collection, Spine 431. Sabu, among other Hollywood celebrities, frequented Ralph Helfer's Africa, USA, exotic animal ranch for leisure and to assist with chores. A big moment in TV history happened when this classic film first appeared on small screens in 1948. It was one of the first major studio movies to be shown on TV. Even though it was originally shot in Technicolor, the early broadcasts were in black and white because color broadcasting was still in the experimental stage. The film was one of 24 movies by Alexander Korda shown in theaters between 1933 and 1942 all over the United States. Sabu, sometimes called Sabu Dastagir, played a key role in the movie. Even though many sources say his full name is Sabu Dastagir, new research suggests his legal name was Seller Sabu. There might be some confusion about his name because of his brother, Sheikh Dastagir. Another important actor in the film was Leslie Phillips. His parents were Frederick Samuel Phillips and Cecilia Margaret Phillips. Knowing Phillips' family background gives more context to his part in the movie. The Thief of Baghdad still grabs people's attention with its exciting story of adventure and magic. It has left a lasting impression on the history of movies. In the past, some talented folks in showbiz made quite a splash. For instance, Leslie Phillips got a big honor in 1998 for his great work in acting. Back in the day, Henry Fonda was almost cast in a movie called The Thief of Baghdad because the director really liked how he looked on screen. Another actor, Conrad Veidt, had a tough time in Hollywood in the late 1920s because he struggled with English. So, he went back to Germany but taught acting there. One of his students, Lisa Gohm, later became famous in American movies. Thinking about these old Hollywood stories, you see how talent and chances can shape careers. These tales show us what really goes on behind the scenes in making movies and how important it is for experienced folks to help out newcomers. The Thief of Baghdad wasn't just a hit movie. It left its mark on people's lives and the careers it influenced. In the early 19s, there was a man who embarked on a journey through the world of cinema. He faced challenges in his personal life, experiencing marriages that didn't last. His involvement in a cinematic project encountered difficulties with its direction, leading to a change in leadership and collaborative efforts to bring the vision to life. This tale highlights the resilience needed to overcome obstacles and create something grand on screen. In the golden age of Hollywood, a captivating tale unfolded, drawing audiences into a world of adventure and fantasy. A young talent, discovered by a seasoned director, embarked on a journey that would leave an indelible mark on the silver screen. From humble beginnings to international fame, his story resonates with audiences even today. Throughout his career, he portrayed characters that became beloved by moviegoers worldwide. One such role saw him as a daring thief in a timeless classic, where he embarked on a quest for riches and glory. Alongside him, a talented actor brought depth to the story as the cunning antagonist, weaving a tale of intrigue and suspense. The movie's enchanting storyline, breathtaking visuals, and memorable characters continue to captivate audiences, standing as a testament to its enduring legacy. Beyond the screen, the actor's contributions to cinema are cherished, inspiring generations of filmmakers and movie enthusiasts alike. In conclusion, the allure of this cinematic masterpiece lies not only in its captivating narrative, but also in the timeless performances that bring it to life. Their impact on the film industry remains profound, ensuring that their stories will be celebrated for years to come. In 1954, Rex Ingram became the first black actor to join a regular cast on an American soap opera, The Brighter Day. Unfortunately, the show was canceled shortly after his debut. The correct spelling of the title should be Thief of Baghdad, but due to the Eastern European influence among some producers and writers, Baghdad is also used. Conrad Veidt, known for his distinctive features, often portrayed unconventional roles, such as an Indian prince in Das Retzel von Bangalore and an Indian character in Das Indichigrabmo. Ingram's role in The Brighter Day was short-lived, but it marked a significant milestone in television history. The variations in spelling of the film's title reflect the diverse backgrounds of those involved in its production. By its ability to portray diverse characters showcases his versatility as an actor. These elements contribute to the rich tapestry of cultural influences evident in The Thief of Baghdad. In a classic episode of Murder, she wrote from 1985, Glynis Johns, 
known for her role in the classic comedy alongside Angela Lansbury, showcased her talent. Interestingly, Christopher Lee, inspired by Conrad Veidt's portrayal of JFR, ventured into acting after a chance encounter with Veidt on a golf course. Leslie Phillips, the oldest living actor from the original Harry Potter franchise between June 2017 and November 2022, left a lasting legacy. These anecdotes shed light on the diverse influences and connections within the entertainment industry. In the world of old movies, there's one that really shines. It's from 1940 and stars a great actor who stood up against Nazi Germany. His last film in England, it got famous all around the globe. What makes this movie special is its colorful scenes. They used a special filming technique called Three Strip Technicolor. Because of this, it won one of the first Oscars for Best Color Cinematography. At the same time, it also got another award for Best Black and White Cinematography. One of the actors in the movie, known not just for her role, but also as someone's mom, adds to its success. All these things together make this movie a really impressive achievement. In the making of The Thief of Baghdad, Cleo Lane made her debut. While the initial director, Ludwig Berger, intended to bring on Oscar Strauss to compose the score. However, Miklos Ross secured the job by persistently playing his melodies in an adjacent office until he won over Berger. Despite Strauss's Viennese waltzes being initially considered, Ross's sweeping and vibrant score ultimately prevailed. Additionally, Sabu, who portrayed the main character, had previously starred as Mowgli in Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book. In the making of the film, several challenges arose directorial changes, along with a shift of production to the U.S. during the outbreak of war, caused significant delays and budget overruns. To salvage the project, the American distributor, United Artists, provided additional funding. Conrad Veidt, a key figure in the movie, displayed admirable patriotism. As a British citizen and anti-Nazi, he donated a considerable portion of his estate and movie earnings to support the war effort. Similarly, Mary Morris, known for her role in Doctor Who, was initially cast in the film. These behind-the-scenes efforts and sacrifices underscored the determination to bring the movie to fruition despite the obstacles. In The Thief of Baghdad, Mary Morris not only played Halima, but also acted as the multi-armed mechanical dancer. She amazed audiences with her ability to switch between these two different roles. Interestingly, Leslie Phillips, who was supposed to be in Carry On regardless, changed his mind at the last minute. He was worried about being stuck in similar roles, so they had to change the character a lot and find someone else to play it. Despite these challenges, the movie did really well and was even considered for the top 100 most heart-pounding American movies by the American Film Institute. It's a classic film loved by many generations for its great storytelling and memorable characters. It's like a timeless favorite that keeps on entertaining people. In the film, there are notable uncredited appearances by Leslie Phillips and Cleo Lane. Phillips had started acting as a child in the 1930s and had previously appeared in another film by the same director. Cleo Lane, who later became a British jazz singer, also appears briefly in the movie. Sabu, known for his role in the film, had a clean bill of health shortly before his unexpected death at 39. His sudden passing came as a shock to many, given his apparent good health. Conrad Veidt, recognized for his portrayal of the villainous Jafar, had a long career in film, starting from the silent era. He is remembered for various roles, including Major Strasser in Casablanca. Bite passed away a few years after his role in the film. These actors, each with their unique contributions, have left their mark on cinematic history. Heralded as a timeless gem by film aficionados, The Thief of Baghdad has earned its spot on Roger Ebert's esteemed great movies list. Many fans hold this classic in high regard. One interesting tidbit is that Leslie Phillips, a member of the cast, expressed his love for Tottenham Hotspur during a halftime show in 2012. Phillips also contributed his voice to a short film called Zabaglini in 1966. The film's enduring popularity, as recognized by Ebert, speaks volumes about its lasting impact and quality in cinema. At around 73 minutes, a notable scene unfolds as a genie soars over a picturesque lake encircled by mountains. This lake, Lake Portillo in Chile, holds a curious connection to another film titled Over the Andes, directed by James F. Fitzpatrick. Remarkably, the same aerial shot of the lake appears in both productions. It's speculated that the footage was captured earlier and repurposed, first in The Thief of Baghdad and later in Over the Andes. Leslie Phillips, who served in the Royal Artillery during World War II, faced considerable challenges during his military service. Trained extensively with live ammunition, he suffered from a form of shell shock, 
leading to various light duties before his demobilization in the autumn of 1944. Despite the trials, Phillips persevered, eventually becoming a second lieutenant in the Durham Light Infantry. Liney's John's daughter of actor Mervyn Johns shared the screen with her father in the Halfway House and later in the Sundowners. This familial collaboration highlights the intertwined nature of the entertainment industry where talent often runs in the family. Amid World War II, Alexander Korda faced challenges making the thief of Baghdad. Originally planned for Africa, the war changed things and they ended up filming in the United States instead. The movie shares similarities with Disney's Aladdin like The Young Thief and The Princess. Leslie Phillips, a main actor, had his own story during the filming. He had a long relationship before his second marriage. The movie was shot in Arizona because of the war. It's interesting how different elements came together in both the movie and in real life. In the midst of a historic movie from 1940, there were plenty of real-life dramas happening for the actors involved. Glynis Johns, one of the stars, went through several marriages, each ending quickly. On the other hand, Conrad Veidt, another actor in the film, faced serious danger in Nazi Germany because he openly opposed the Nazis. Despite playing Nazi characters, Veidt was actually against them in real life. This shows how the actors' personal lives and beliefs added depth to the story behind the scenes. Among the actors in The Thief of Baghdad, Glynis John stands as one of the few alive who also took on the role of special guest villains in Batman. Alongside her are Julie Newmar, John Aston, Joan Collins, and Barbara Rush. Conrad Veidt, another notable figure from the film, gained immense recognition for his role in Das Cabinet Des Dr. Caligari. He portrayed the somnambulous Cesar, leaving a lasting mark on German silent cinema. Veidt's defiance of Nazi ideology also left a profound legacy. Despite not being Jewish himself, he declared himself as such on a racial questionnaire in support of his Jewish wife and in solidarity with the persecuted Jewish community. This bold act rendered him unemployable in Germany, showcasing his unwavering commitment to his principles and loved ones. Veidt's stand against anti-Semitism drew admiration and led Joseph Goebbels to declare that he would never act in Germany again. Conrad Veidt, married to Alona Prigerbata, who was of Jewish faith, found refuge in England and later the Essa due to political circumstances. Filming initially began in Britain for The Thief of Baghdad, but the Blitz forced production to relocate to Hollywood. Sabu's early scenes had to be reshot as he grew during the prolonged break caused by the German air raids on London. The Thief of Baghdad, though not nominated for Best Picture, won three Academy Awards for art direction, cinematography, and special effects, making it the first film to achieve such a feat. In the realm of entertainment, two shining stars have left an unforgettable impact. One of them, known for his versatility, received a prestigious honor in 2008 for his work in drama. He is the son of Frederick and Cecilia, and his talent has enchanted audiences for years. On the other hand, a talented actress achieved a remarkable feat in her career after a fellow actress's passing. She became the oldest surviving actor with an Oscar nomination, showcasing her dedication to her craft. Their paths intertwined in a classic film, where he played a memorable role. This timeless tale of adventure and fantasy showcased his acting skills and secured his place in the hearts of many. The movie, with its captivating story and stunning visuals, continues to mesmerize audiences. The actress also starred in the same film, portraying a strong and resilient character. Her exceptional performance added depth to the story, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. Together, they contributed to the magic of the movie, which remains a beloved cinematic masterpiece. In summary, these two icons have left an unforgettable legacy in the world of entertainment. Their talent and dedication will be remembered for generations to come. In the old movies, there were actors who made big impressions even beyond their own roles. Like in The Thief of Baghdad, where Sabu was wanted for the main part but wasn't picked. Instead, Sam Jaff got a role by imitating Sabu style. Conrad Veidt had to leave Germany in 1933 because of the Nazis, along with his Jewish wife. Rex Ingram played God in one movie and the devil in another, showing his range. These actors helped shape the stories they were in and left a mark on cinema. Their roles show how diverse and rich classic movies could be. In the realm of classic tales brought to life on the silver screen, few stories have seen as many adaptations as the captivating adventures found within the pages of the Arabian Nights. One particular tale, known for its allure and swashbuckling charm, has been reincarnated numerous times since its silent movie debut in the year the original movie was released. This beloved story has captured the imagination of audiences for generations. 
Behind the scenes, a fascinating negotiation unfolded over dinner at London's Savoy Hotel. A renowned filmmaker found himself seated beside the legendary actor who once brought this tale to life on screen. It was here that the rights to the film were discussed and secured, marking the beginning of a new chapter in cinematic history. As time passed, the cast and crew of this cinematic gem gradually became part of the annals of movie history. While some have left us, their performances continue to enchant audiences to this day. Among them, name of the last surviving credited cast member left a lasting legacy with his portrayal of character's name, while others like name of the actress with the uncredited role still grace the world with their presence. In the tapestry of film history, this story stands as a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and the magic of the silver screen. It's a tale of adventure, romance, and timeless wonder that continues to captivate audiences around the globe.